Hi, this is your host, Abdul Bharatiya, and we are here at QCon and CloudNativeCon in Salt Lake City, Utah. And today we have with us once again, Alex Kirkop, Chief Architect at Akamai. Alex, great to have you on the show. It's always great to be here. Nice to meet you again, Swapun. Yeah, it's my pleasure to host you again. And of course, you know, we are talking, we we'll talk about CNC Tax, which is Technical Advisory Group, and a lot of, you know, your involvement with, uh, when I say you, Akamai's involvement with CNCF and all the open source projects. But before we go there, since we are here at KubeCon, and if I'm not wrong, Akamai is a kind of new player in the, you know, KubeCon ecosystem. You know, we are seeing the booth and the booth is also getting bigger and bigger every year. So talk a bit about Akamai from the lens of Kubernetes KubeCon. So, so Akamai is, um, uh, it's a gold member of the CNCF and a platinum sponsor for KubeCon. Um, for us, it's a really big, um, it's a really big opportunity to work with the community and talk about uh, the Kubernetes services that, that we offer, plus some of the new platform launches uh, around our app, uh, application platform, which is um, which is newly launched today uh, and, and, and is available on the boot. And it's making it easier for developers to consume Kubernetes without sort of all of the overhead of developing their own stacks. What kind of involvement, Akamai, you folks have with CNCF? Of course, you said membership, but I want to talk about the project level. We're working on a number of different projects and a number of different um, uh, co community uh, entities. We're very active in the tags, for example. So uh, myself, uh, I'm the co-chair of the storage tag. My colleague, Stephen Rust, is co-chair of the runtime tag. Um, and the tags are very uh, important into the running of the CNCF in terms of the projects that are joining the CNCF. You're also involved with CNCF tag or technical advisory group. Uh, first of all, define you know, what is the role of tags? So there are eight tags uh, in the CNCF. Um, the tags offer our technical advisory groups and they advise the TOC, which is the uh, technology, the technical operating uh, committee and who make the technical decisions on the direction for the CNCF and the projects that are joining the CNCF. So the tags are there to scale the, the, the working of the TOC. We have over 200 projects in the CNCF today. Uh, they keep growing very, very fast. Um, since uh, KubeCon in Paris, we've had 19 new projects. Um, and, and of course, you know, in order to review projects and, and, and uh, sort of shepherd them through the process, um, there is often need for specific you know, subject matter expertise and, and, and also um, work the tags would then also work with the community to help bring those projects into the CNCF. The other big thing that we do uh, in the tags is work with uh, the community and the end users to make it easier for the end users to, to consume the projects in the CNCF. So things like generating white papers or, or other working groups um, that, that allow the end users to figure out the ecosystem or figure out you know, some of the uh, interesting use cases and the upcoming projects in the ecosystem. Can you also talk about, you know, they also have TOC there. Uh, how do these two work and do they work together in parallel or separately? So, so, so the tag, the way I think about it is the tags are kind of like an extension of the TOC. The TOC retains all of the decision-making capabilities. The TOC are elected through, um, through the, the various election processes for, that, that are defined in the mission charter for the CNCF. Um, and the tags are effectively an extension that allow them to provide um, additional subject matter expertise because you know you can't expect every member of the TOC to be an expert in everything um, plus also it, it's it's a it's a bandwidth thing right you know the, the we're trying to standardize and formalize more the um, the process for Im importing uh, projects into the CNCF and reviewing projects um, and the tags help with that due diligence process as we as we review projects. When you look at CNCF ecosystem, landscape is growing. Are you seeing any patterns in this growth and how is it growing? So, so we're definitely seeing a lot of growth in the ecosystem. There's there's a, a massive amount of sandbox projects, for example, which which are projects which are joining the CNCF to help um, grow and establish themselves. Some of these might be experiments that 
don't work out in the end. And some of these might be, you know, the next Kubernetes. Um, and it's 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 kind of very exciting to sort of foster that and, and see things grow. We're also seeing, you know, like a huge influx in in some new areas like AI, where we're seeing schedulers and uh, controllers and, and other functions that allow. Uh, that allow AI workloads to be deployed properly on Kubernetes. You know, as, as we discussed in KubeCon in Paris, if AI is the new application, then Kubernetes is the new web server. Um, and so, so I think I think we're seeing a lot of uh, new new developments there. We're also seeing uh, developments, for example, in sustainability and, and how we manage um, uh, how we manage the energy usage, for example, of Kubernetes clusters, and and uh, and that helps manage costs, but it also helps with the with the ecosystem with the um, with our sustainability in the ecosystem. Can you also talk about? What kind of work is going on within Akamai to become a more active? I mean, of course, you are active here, but in the, in the open source sense, where you are building a culture within Akamai, so that developers and they are also engaging and also contributing. No, that's correct. So, so from Akamai's point of view, you know, open source is a core foundation building block for all, everything we do. Um, both in terms of you know operating systems, cloud native networking, etc. Um, the important thing here is, you know, to to look at it both in terms of, you know, time. So the time that developers are contributing back to projects and and being active in the ecosystem, but also more importantly in terms of the funding. So, for example, Akamai has uh, provided more than a million dollars in in credits to help uh, CNCF projects, uh, you know, do their testing or, or or various other things that that might be needed. So, so effectively giving cloud services from Akamai to 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 help the projects work. This is first day of KubeCon. Uh, I mean, almost end of the first day. So you have had enough interaction, enough traffic on your booth to get a pulse on where we are. Yes. Talk yes. a bit about what kind of discussion you are seeing, what kind of audience you are seeing, what kind of trends that you are seeing are happening, and from horse's mouth. Yeah. So, so that's an interesting question. One, one of the interesting thing is, we're seeing a very huge project pavilion with a lot of people interacting in the project pavilion. So, so the interaction with the with the sort of the ground level projects is 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 growing, a huge number of uh, startups that are now sort of CNCF members and and contributing innovative projects, but it, I also l look at sort of the first day when you kind of see where people are going and what people are asking about. You know, I, I one of the things that really impressed me, for example, yesterday was we had a platform engineering day. And, and it was, you know, a full house standing room only for the whole day. And it kind of shows sort of the, um, I, I, I kind of look at this as an indicator, a maturity indicator. You know, we're, we're, we're past the stage where people are um, uh, evaluating Kubernetes and evaluating cloud native. We're now in the stage where we need, you know, the platforms to be, you know, as the saying goes, defining the platform as a product that effectively allows those internal developer teams to scale and accelerate their consumption of the cloud native ecosystem. Alex, thank you so much for joining me today. Great insights uh, for the community. Uh, and uh, as usual, I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. Thank you again, Swap. It's always fantastic to meet you at KubeCon, and I look forward to seeing you again.